That was awkward. Yes, it was. <laughs> What's good, everybody? This is your boy Jagging Off, the Go to Jags YouTube. Not up for the Bowl City Duval. We in a fucking building yet again. All right, so today we got the report pretty that confirmed pretty much what I knew was going to happen for a while. The Kansas City Chiefs have signed former Jaguars offensive tackle Jawan Taylor to a four-year $80 million deal with $62 million guaranteed, which is a pretty nice payday for Jawan Taylor. So it's easy to understand why the Jaguars weren't going to match that because, like, it sucks losing Jawan Taylor, but, um, you know, we already drafted Walker Little. And Cam Robinson's coming back, and we're up against the cap right now. Like, we only have a few million dollars to spend before the draft, so we got to we gotta ha handle it accordingly, and keeping Jawan Taylor just wasn't in the cards. You know, that's that was the perception from this year. However, this all really could have been avoided by one pick. So let's take let's take a trip down memory lane because as great as the 2021 draft class was for the Jacksonville Jaguars, as many good players as we got that helped us, you know, revamp this team and get us into and get us to winning divisions and contending in the playoffs. On that draft. Trent Baalke made one crucial error. And, you know, like I said, this draft was one of the one of the best, if not the best, that the Jacksonville Jaguars have ever had. I mean, not just because of Trevor Lawrence. It was also kind of a Galen redemption trade in some ways because the pick we traded, one of the picks we traded for, that we got for Galen, we used on Trevor Lawrence's former college teammate and... um now our superstar running back, Travis Etienne, a couple picks later at pick thirty at pick thirty-three, the first pick of the second round, we took Tyson Campbell, who replaced Galand as our top cornerback and had a better year than he did this year. And of course Andre Sisco went in that draft as well in the third round. But however, like I said, in the pick, between those two picks is when the crucial error was made. And this, ironically, was the pick we got from Yannick Ngakwe. And that it was the Jaguars took Walker Little. And then 10 picks later, came Pat, Fr Pat Fryermuth was drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, why am I bringing up Pat Fryermuth other than, like, I've come, other than, you know, I, that's who we should have taken all along and I've always stood by that? Well, here's the thing. While the Jaguars were dicking around with fucking no-name tight ends like Chris Dickhurts and Dan Arnold and the corpse of um, fucking Tyler Eifert for over the past three years, Pat Firemuth was the second-best tight end in the draft and could have been a first-round pick and probably should have been and is having a great career in Pittsburgh and was sitting right fucking there. But... You know, when we took Mark a little, we didn't we didn't know because, you know, was this supposed to be Cam Robinson's replacement? Because at the time he was under a contract here, or was it supposed to eventually be Jawan Taylor's replacement? Because other than his rookie season, his his next two would be up and down. And then he had a great year in 2022. But the way this could have been avoided was if the Jaguars would have took would have taken Fryermuth. There's no need to sign Evan Ingram. And, of course, we put the franchise tag on Evan, on Evan Ingram, which another reason why this could have been avoided. I don't know how, if all he wanted was, like, that tag's $11 million a year. I don't know how a long-term deal couldn't have gotten done if that's, you know, kind of, if the franchise tag is kind of what they settled on. 
I mean, granted, at the top, I mean, granted, putting the tag on Ingram was more important than putting it on Taylor because again, we have Walker Little. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, if we had taken Fryermuth, there's no need to sign Ingram. Or if we had got the deal done with Ingram, you could put the tag, you could have put the tag on Chandler, and if he doesn't come back, you can at least get something for him. And not have him go to the fucking Kansas City Chiefs of all teams. You know, the team that beat us in the playoffs. We just made them better. So, yeah. As good as the 2021 draft was, taking Walker Little instead of Pat Firemuth was one of the, was the one crucial fuck-up of that draft. And, it's result, and it resulted in Javon Taylor leaving. I mean, is that entirely hopeless? No, because, you know, Walker Little did, pl to his credit, Walker Little did play good when he took over for Cam Robinson after he got injured. But now it's time to, but now, as I said in a tweet earlier, he needs to play. He needs to play and he needs to get us, and he needs to ensure that we win the, the other big trade, the Yannick Ngakwe trade. He needs he needs to play. He needs to play at Jawan Taylor's level, and that's all there is to it. Otherwise, th this this was just fucked. Like this was a horrible decision on all ends, because the fact that you know Jawan Taylor's walking to the defending Super Bowl champs for a pretty big contract is pretty crazy to think we could have avoided it, but. You know, this year after everything, this year after everything that had happened, it's like I I knew it was com I knew Jawan Taylor wasn't coming back. So it is what it is. Always, I always liked Jawan with the Gators and the Jags. So you know, nothing really to say on that end. But best of luck to him. Uh, like I said, I wish we would have avoided this, but it is what it is. We'll see what other free agency news happens. I don't expect the Jags to make a ton of noise in there. Calais Campbell just got released. I'm praying for him to resign. Um, it's look it, it's looking like Chris Dick hurts and fucking um, uh, Trey Herndon are drawing us just from other teams. Which whatever they anybody else can have them. So I really don't give a shit about that. But um. We'll see if any kind of news ensues. But anyways, just putting your boy jagging off. Go Jags. Duval till I die. Let's go.